This video is your in-service guide for the Integra Paget Model S Dermatomes. It was created to answer your questions and help you care for this equipment. We're confident that you'll find these dermatomes give you excellent clinical results when properly used, while being easy to set up and virtually maintenance-free. The Model S is designed to provide speed and accuracy in cutting skin grafts in a variety of widths. The Model S electric dermatome comes complete with this plastic storage case. Inside you'll find the electric dermatome unit with the power cord, the power pack, and three width clips to harvest 2-inch, 3-inch, and 4-inch grafts. A 1-inch clip is also available from Integra by special request. You will also find a screwdriver, a pin positioning guide, and wrench. In addition, a wider version of the Model S Dermatome, called the Model S6, which allows the user to harvest skin grafts up to 6 inches wide, is also available. While this guide features electric dermatomes, a 90 PSI air-powered dermatome called the Model C is also available. If you are using the Model C, simply connect the unit to the air supply and turn on the airflow to provide power to the unit. Blades for the Integra Dermatomes should be ordered separately from Integra Life Sciences. They come in boxes of 10. Caution! These boxes contain very sharp blades that could cause injury if handled without care. The sterile blade is capable of cutting through this package and inflicting injury. The Model S Electric Dermatome features a 48-volt DC power supply. The power cord is removable and should be inserted straight into the dermatome and power supply according to their respective markings. The Model S and S6 dermatome's on-off switch is located here and operated with the surgeon's thumb. Push the switch forward to turn the unit on. Slide the switch back to turn the unit off. The switch must be held in the on position, except for special models designated for tissue banks. To prepare the dermatome for use, first, remove the guard by loosening the screws and lifting it off. Before each use, it's important to check the pin position of the dermatome with this simple pin position guide. This determines if the oscillating pin is within specification to enable proper blade movement. Place the wide opening of the pin positioning guide over the oscillating pin like this. Lightly push on the side of the gauge with your right index finger, allowing the gauge to slide into place. The spring tension in the oscillating pin creates friction, which stops the gauge and allows for an accurate reading. If the pin is between the two hash marks on the gauge, the unit is functioning properly. Note that the oscillating pin moves from side to side during its normal operation and a proper measurement should be taken without adjusting the position of the oscillating pin. If the pin is outside of its normal calibration, please contact your Integra customer service representative at 1-800-654-2873 and select the option for Returns and Repairs. We will now demonstrate how to properly install the blade on your Integra Dermatome. Please note that Integra Dermatomes should only use Integra Blades, and Integra Blades should only be used on Integra Dermatomes. Failure to comply could result in serious patient injury and will void the Integra Dermatome warranty. To install the blade, check to make sure that the blade and blade bed are free of any lint or foreign matter. Note that one side of the blade reads this side up and features the Integra logo. The other side is blank. It is important to keep the side that reads this side up facing you during the installation process. Note that the dermatome has two pegs for holding the blade in place. Prior to placement, the blade should be given a very thin coat of sterile mineral oil on the unmarked underside. With the Integra logo up, center the blade hole over the oscillating pin with the back portion of the blade resting on the two pegs. At this point, you should be able to press down with your thumbs on either side of the blade and observe the oscillating pin passing through the blade hole as the blade bends slightly. Note that while doing this, the back portion of the blade continues to rest on the pegs. This is the starting position for installing the blade. Once you have the pin centered in the blade, 
Continue pushing down to keep the pins centered in the blade. As you do this, push forward, allowing the blade to slide off the rear pegs and click into place. Once the blade clicks into place, apply a thin coat of mineral oil to the side that reads Integra. If at any point during the installation you are having difficulty, return to the starting position and begin again. With the blade in place, select either the 2, 3, or 4 inch width clip and check to see that it is also free of lint or foreign matter that would restrict the free movement of the blade. The beveled edge of the width clip should be facing forward and should be flush with the head assembly. The width clip is then placed on the top of the blade and screwed into place with the screwdriver. The clip should be snug but not extremely tight. The thickness of the graft is determined by the surgeon using the calibrated scale on the head of the electric dermatome. To adjust, first loosen the screw on the scale, then move the scale to the desired thickness and retighten the screw. Be sure to loosen the thumb screw prior to rotating the knob to a new thickness setting. Note that the actual thickness of the graft taken is largely dependent upon surgical technique and may vary from user to user. Much of the weight of the motor should be carried by the hand that holds the dermatome so as to maintain a reasonably light pressure between the cutting edge and the body of the patient. The instrument should be held at a 25 to 45 degree angle. To sever the graft, lift the dermatome up and away from the donor site. To disassemble the dermatome, simply unscrew the width clip with the screwdriver and lift it off. Then remove the blade by lifting up with both index fingers, using the slots at the end of the blade. Finally, replace the guard plate. The entire instrument, cord and plug can be autoclaved, but do not autoclave the power pack. The dermatome may be sterilized by gas or steam. Please refer to the owner's manual for sterilization specifications. Do not use a dry heat, high temperature autoclave. Do not immerse in water. Visually inspect the dermatome's power cord for signs of damage. That may include cracks or discoloration of the cable jacket, exposed conductors, or distortion of the cord or connector. If damage is observed, do not use the dermatome. Contact Integra Customer Service to order a replacement cord. The Model S, Model S6 and Model C dermatomes also feature a unique removable cutting head to allow for more thorough cleaning. The cutting head can be removed from the motor housing by loosening the nuts on the back of the head, then simply pull the head off. This allows the cutting head to be fully immersed in an enzymatic detergent. The motor housing should be scrubbed and rinsed, but do not immerse the motor housing in an enzymatic detergent. Preventative maintenance should be scheduled for the unit each year. You can arrange maintenance by contacting Integra Life Sciences at 1-800-654-2873. That's all there is to it. You're now ready to use the Integra Paget Dermatome. If you have any further questions, please contact Integra Life Sciences at 1-800-654-2873. We invite you to watch this next section as well. In it, we'll provide a checklist to assess the dermatome's condition and offer some troubleshooting tips. The following assessment steps can be used to confirm proper dermatome operation. This assessment is to be performed without the blade and width clip installed. One. Visually inspect all dermatome system components for signs of physical damage or wear, including loose parts, part distortion, rough edges, and areas of discoloration. 2. Check for proper oscillating pin position with the oscillating pin position guide. 3. Check for proper fit of all dermatome cables. Connect the dermatome handpiece cord between the dermatome handpiece and the power supply. Connect the wall power cord to the power supply. All cable connectors are to fit properly to their mating receptacles. 4. Connect the power supply cord to a wall receptacle and turn the power supply switch on. The indicator light on the power supply is to illuminate. If the indicator light does not illuminate, see the power supply section of the user manual. 
also confirm that voltage is available at the wall receptacle. 5. Depress the thumb switch on the dermatome handpiece momentarily. The dermatome motor is to run, and the oscillating pin is to move rapidly from side to side. Note any unusual motor sounds. If issues are experienced with any of these system checks, do not use the dermatome and return the unit to the Integra Paget Dermatome Service Center for service. See the Maintenance and Servicing section. If no issues are observed during this assessment, but performance issues are experienced, refer to the following troubleshooting table. Here are some common problems and possible solutions. The unit fails to run with the blade and width clip installed. 1. The blade and its mating surfaces of the dermatome are to be free of lint or other foreign objects, which may hinder free movement of the blade. 2. Use only the supplied screwdriver in order to avoid over-tightening the width clip attachment screws. 3. Check the condition of the width clip for distortion, especially flatness, and rough edges. The actual graft thickness varies from the Dermatome Thickness Guide setting. 1. The actual thickness of the graft is highly dependent upon operator technique and the condition of the tissue being harvested. Refer to the section How to Use the Integra Paget Electric Dermatome for additional details. 2. The dermatome mechanism that controls the graft thickness is factory set to provide proper performance and includes components that may wear after repeated usage. To correct such issues, the dermatome must be returned to an Integra Paget Dermatome Repair Center for service. Annual preventative maintenance is strongly recommended. A variation in graft thickness is observed during the procedure. 1. The thumb screw lock feature on the thickness knob is not sufficiently tightened to hold the knob at the user-selected thickness setting. Two. The thumb screw must be loosened prior to positioning the thickness knob pointer. Failure to loosen the thumb screw can result in physical damage to the dermatome's cutting head in the thickness knob area. This can significantly diminish the effectiveness of the thumb screw lock. If such visual damage is observed, the unit should be returned to the Integra Paget Dermatome Repair Center for service. Unsatisfactory graft quality. One. Check the oscillating pin position with the pin position guide. If the oscillating pin is not properly positioned, the blade may chatter or skip, yielding unsatisfactory results. We hope that this video has answered your questions on the use of the Integra Electric Dermatome. If you have any further questions, please contact Integra Life Sciences at 1-800-654-2873.